I think I started in the fashion industry when I was about four. I learnt to sew from my mother on an old treadle sewing machine. She was a designer in her own right, which was unusual. She had her own, um, she had her own workroom and her own retail um, store many years ago down in Wanganui. She was trained as a tailoress and went and studied in Sydney. So I've grown up with fashion all my life. I loved it and I loved the fact that you had an idea and you could create it. I learned about quality from her. She always said, no, pull that undone, you know, safety pins and sellotape on the head are not good enough. And I had to complete everything perfectly. So I learned from her. But the industry has changed completely since when Kevin and I were involved. The borders opened up in the late 90s, mid, mid to late 90s, so that we suddenly had a flood of imports coming into New Zealand, changed the industry radically. It changed the way that fashion companies worked. There are so many more now going offshore, having their manufacturing done offshore. So the skills that are needed in the industry are not just being able to design something that's attractive and well made. They need to be perfectly timed and costed and spec sheets and it's it's quite a different ball game from when Kevin and I started out in the industry. In those days, back in the mid-70s to through to the late 80s, you could go out there with your range of clothes and you had six months to produce it. These days, retailers and customers are looking for something new every week. So the pressure on them is huge. They need to be able to be designing, producing new ranges every week, not once every six months. And the days are gone when the customer said, well, um, I'd like that in a different colour, and you would say, well, that's all I've got, sorry, take it or leave it. These days, the customer is king. So the customer comes in and says, I really like that, but I'd like a bit shorter, I'd like another pocket on there, do it in another colour, and the people do it. So manufacturing has changed, and the relationship between the customers and the designer has changed, the designer is no longer king, and so the customer is king.